Welcome to Darkest Dungeon! After the fail that was Transistor, the playthrough, <laughs> I didn't go quite as I planned, so I jumped straight to another game that came out like two, three years ago, which I didn't would love to get into, but I just didn't when I tried. So we're gonna give this another shot as well. So I play this very, very, very slightly, like for 15 minutes, 20 minutes tops, probably. Just to the first dungeon, probably. Somewhere along those lines. Okay. So, before you click, yeah, okay, we'll slightly remember this. So if you haven't heard about this game, Brilliant it's... Brigands have run up these lanes. Keep to the side path. The hamlet is just ahead. The hamlet is our estate that we have... Uh, Inherited from some ancestor of some sort. Why in the whole pristine or forward you create his house? Yep, okay, okay. So it's a turn based combat game. But it has a lot of interesting elements to it, like uh, positions and. Uh huh, uh huh. Kill the enemy. Yeah, I know this. So, I, for example, I can't use this uh, our ranger, uh, highwayman. Pistol shot because he's standing in the first row, and that makes for interesting combat system. And there's a lot of more things you have to manage uh, the the character's stress and see. I can maybe even can't maybe even use our guy. Oh, I can. That's it's great. Smite. So which one of these would do most damage? Stun him? No, he will probably die. Act him. Uh, let's try this. It should work. Disadvantage. Give them no quarter. Yeah, that is a great narrator, by the way. Each item you take will occupy space in your inventory. Well, boy, really? Let's take that. Let's also change position like that. Keep our... There we go. Keep our range guy in the back. He's... Oh, wait, what? Why did he lose health again? Any reason as to why? No. Okay, so there's a stress meter. And they will just do if they get too stressed out from seeing like horrible monsters and getting damaged and all that. That's bad. Okay, so let's check what's inside the tent. It left valuables. Leave nothing unchecked. <laughs> there is much to be found in forgotten places. I've heard this guy reads audiobooks at a uh, uh, as part of his profession. That would be nice. Oh no. <laughs> rightful owner has returned. Oh yeah. Is no longer welcome. <laughs> oh, they are not. Let's see then. Grape shot. Let's take. Should we take that guy out? He has 12 HP. Oh. <laughs> so close. And dodge. Great. That guy looks like he'd do a lot of damage. Should we stun him to buy ourselves some time? Or just small him down. I guess just small him down would be make would make sense. Punishment. Oh no, he whipped us. <laughs> Come on. Oh yeah. Okay, so we should be able to shoot. Oh no. So we should be able to shoot the guy now. Pistol shot. Let's get him down. No. You f tool. God damn it. Okay. Okay. Let's. Get him down. Slowly but surely. It should be only take one hit, probably. Okay, come on. Pistol shot that guy. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, okay. So the corpses, I remember. There's a corpses are in hindrance. So if that guy would have died, I just can't... With my melee, dude, I can't just attack the guy behind. Because the corpse is in the way. So I, will he die from one more shot? It's 12... He sort of won't, so I'm thinking of stunning him instead, and then finishing it off with the Highwayman. Well, shit, I didn't think it would do that a little damage. But can I open Vein? Maybe that will take him down. No, he missed! Well, that is just sucky as all hell. Oh, can we get him down now? Come on, yes! The size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. <laughs> oh, this is awesome, I like this. Completing a quest. You have option to return to town anytime, just click Crest, you don't need to return to Star Room, don't exit. Fine. Quest complete. What was the quest? Continue adventuring or return? 
Let's return to Hamlet. That's, uh, well, get to Hamlet for the first time would be more appropriate, maybe. Yeah, got some treasure, heirlooms. Nice, that's things you use to upgrade the town, I think. So let's return to the town. Return to the town. Tinker it out. Wait, what was that? I missed that. God damn it. God damn it. Okay, so I don't... It was like a Welcome year home, since I played this. Such as it is. <laughs> this squalid hamlet, these corrupted lands, they are yours now. And you are bound to them. Thank you, good sir. Great. Okay, so I sort of kind of... Okay, so... Sort of kind of read up on this slightly. Yeah, okay. Press age, contextual. We need to upgrade the stagecoach. Because that's where you get new Fools party members. And corpses. So let's take these All guys. Yeah, upgrading the, the thing. Yeah, let's do that. And let's upgrade the... The uh, stagecoach network, I believe, was More the one. Arrive. Foolishly seeking fortune and glory <laughs> uh -huh. in this domain. Increase the number damned. of people to three. Okay, so I guess we did that. I don't remember why you needed to do that exactly, but let's see. Check out other Most things. Graveyard. Here. Yeah, Covered your characters, if they die, they are gone forever. <laughs> I just I love In this time, narrator. You will know the tragic extent of my failings. Oh, it's the ancestor that's talking. Interesting, interesting. Okay, so these guy have some sort of condition, I believe. Blacksmith guild embark. There's, this is much more you can do in the town. Let's embark in a quest. Well, these guys have some sort of condition, haven't they? Knocked out. Ten. It's not allowed to gam. It's not allowed to gamble while in town. Okay, yeah, they have random like ability. in town. We'll only pray for stress relief. Okay, prone to stealing items. <laughs> that is bad. Oh, can't you? Re oh, you can rename the guys. That is great. So I had had a plan since uh, to give some sort of homage to my Swedish. Ness. <laughs> we'll name them after the sitting sort of po political figures in Sweden. I guess that's kind of meta and just completely uninteresting if you're not Swedish. But you'll learn some Swedish politics. Okay, so this is our damaging dude. So, since he's very strong... I guess, I guess th this should be our prime minister, Stefan Levien. As our fighter for the evening and who let's see he, this is a highwayman keeps more keeps more on the side let's who oh, who can that be that is probably his handyman his clo clo close uh, colleague which is uh, Gustav Fridolin he's the oh no come on Gustav Fridolin, which is the leader of the uh, Milieu Party, which is uh, like a Green Party, and this is the Social Democrat leader, by the way. Just to give some context here, so this, this looks, this looks a bad dude of sorts. Which, huh? Who we will give this to? Uh, this should be. Uh, oh, it will be. <laughs> it could be. Because uh, since it's is it a guy or a girl? I guess it doesn't matter. But it, we'll give her to we give. Let's call it a her. Let's call her Annie Love. I think that's how it's the center party. And there we go. Yeah, this is definitely definitely a girl. Of sorts, and she uh, will be the leader of the right uh, sort of wing party. Well, there's a few of them, but the the moderates, <laughs> they're called. Let's call let's call her by her proper name, which is of course Anna Kinberg Batra. Bat no. Fuck. Anna Batra. I guess we'll just have to do with that then. That will be okay, I guess. Okay, so these are completely different ones. So these two sort of in the left 
black and these are more to the right ish it's kind of hard to explain just think of it as that but the swedish the swedish parliament will come together and fight monsters on quests so let's embark and oh see God. how oh they and more busy. do your work begins oh yeah quick uh, this is where it's like quest for him to inform an adventuring party of four heroes in bar. Click and quest to see the details. Drag heroes to the bottom slot to form the order. Okay. Guess we'll drag Annie Love and Anashin by Botra. The usual suspects. <laughs> Indeed. And provision. Oh, I remember a tip. Buying a lot of torches and stuff. Let's see. Do we buy the shit here? Yeah, okay. The cost of preparedness measured now in uh -huh. gold, later in blood. Oh, that sounds ominous. Let's see here. But uh, didn't he suggest how much things you sort of kind of needed? It didn't. Okay, let's take four of these. One shovel, some bandages, medicine herb, skeleton key. Sure. Holy water. Let's take one of those. Food. Guess you can't have too much food. Anti-venom. Did we take one of those? Yeah, one of those. Will that do? We'll try. Let's take four. Let's try this. See what happens. We'll see what happens. Interesting. Okay, so now I'm basically on, on thin ground. I don't remember much. Much other than the uh, very very beginning. I as I said I played this game for about 20 minutes And that was a year ago approximately. I think that's when it came out It didn't came out two years ago, did it? Maybe that was early access to hear a panel right can hear us. Yeah, okay. Okay, you know what? I think this is good break great way to start the next episode And I'll see you next time